It's a glorious day in the Motor City, welcoming IndyCar on a new and different circuit as we welcome you to NBC Sports coverage here on Peacock of qualifying for the Chevrolet Detroit Grand Prix. It's round seven of the NTT IndyCar Series for 2023. Hi folks, Lee Diffie along with Townsend Bell and James Hinchcliffe with you. Dave Burns, Kevin Lee, Marty Snyder with us on pit road. Lots of stories, lots of action. Seven minutes 50 left on the clock, group one. Elio Castro Neves will power. Alex Polo, you see on screen in the Ridgeline Lubricants Honda. Jack Harvey's jumped up to fourth. Those arrows beside their names the one beside the number you see is them being on track or off at the end beside their time. That's what tires they're on. The black for the primary, the green for the alternate. So Elio Castro Neves opting to start on the alternate. Something that a couple teams were flirting with the idea of, guys, because there's been so many red flags in practice. You didn't want to get caught out with only having a, a banker lap as other drivers went out on the alternate. So Interesting to see Castro Neves do it. And this is going to be the mad scramble to try and make it into that top six. And Elio Castro Neves has spun. Exiting turn, turn two. 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 We saw this yesterday in qualifying for the Michelin Pilot Challenge race that's coming up next on Peacock, where a driver spun there and ended up reversing all the way down this straight. Now Elio's able to. It's going to be a red. This is bad for Alexander Rossi. If it doesn't go red, this is bad for Rossi because yeah. everyone going through here is on a yellow. None of these laps count. You see how all the red yes. on the pylon. Every driver is backed right off. Just lost it on power down at the exit. It's a little wide. Look, like I mean, kind of wide of the corner. Just got the right rear in the gray. Less than a minute to go. Everybody's scrambling. Some in the green, like Alexander Rossi. Romain Grosjean goes to P3. Qualifying well here is Paramount, and Alexander Rossi goes to P2. That's a big relief for Rossi. 45 seconds left. Everybody will get one more. But you just can't rest because you don't know what the benchmark time is going to be to transfer. Will Power out of four there, struggling to get the power down. You've got to be in a prioritized starting spot here. The Verizon Chevy driver, Will Power, to P3. Let's take a quick replay here at Deb Francesco. Just getting into the wall there, coming out of turn one. Devlin ended up ninth in that session. Yeah, Why Graham Ray all having to having to lift off a little bit there to allow. What's the urgency from Kyle? Where's he going? No idea. Well, <laughs> maybe wanting to beat Pato. Yeah, out. I suppose. Just to try and prevent being stuck. Oh, man, being what stuck a, in traffic. What a dangerous way to to potentially risk your front wing at the start of a qualifying session that is really critical to a great result. Check this out. Colton Herta, listen. Boom, boom. Oh yeah, and the steering's out of alignment. Yeah. Bent rear toe link. Double whack. They're working on it right now, guys, in the 26 pit. Newgarden trying to leap his way back in, and it would be at the expense of his team, Penske teammate. Callum Eilat goes to P5, Ericsson's in sixth. So McLaughlin and Newgarden are on the outside, but Newgarden goes to fourth right at the line. Both Ericsson and McLaughlin on laps, good enough to transfer, though only just. Scott Dixon clocks his last lap. This is a great lap for McLaughlin. Look at that, up half a second to Callum Eilat. That'll do, that'll do nicely. Checkered flag is out, end of Q1. Marcus Ericsson jumps his nice way job. in. Nice job, Mark Fox. Just pushing out Renus VK, great final lap. Watch the front left. Uh, this is not the same corner as this morning, it is. Exact same situation. Just a harder hit. Brave to keep his foot on the throttle, just yeah. trying to get to that alternate start finish line. Out of the car, he's qualifying over. So the Long Beach pole winner and race winner isn't going any further. What was their damage there? Something going looking on. Looking at the left front, they had the, the fan in. They were looking at the brake duct. Let's see if we can get a glimpse here of what happened. It's going to be a loon corner. guard. This is loon guard. Oh, oh yeah. That's quite a, a bit of damage. Might be a bit of damage. I took the left front off. I ripped the left front off. So that's Christian loon guard uh, and then some. Ericsson's on a good one here, guys. Marcus Ericsson to the alternate finish line and goes to the top with 2.44 left to play. Dixon with a shot here with a really good chance to make it happen at the end of time. 
two Ganassi cars in the green. Dixon's there. It might be his young rookie teammate, Marcus Armstrong, who pushes him out. If the young Kiwi can stay on it. Half a tenth. It's all here. This is where he lost all that time. A tenth down now. To the line for Marcus Armstrong, in or out of the Firestone Fast 6. Out is the answer. Yeah, this is Marcus Ericsson running long. That's not going to help. And well, then Grosjean's there as well. Does this create a local yellow for anybody trailing? Well, the only guy trailing went off as well, so I'm not sure I'm not sure you'll get a penalty yeah, for it. Yeah, but what's behind these two? They both hadn't completed a lap, so they're going to get drive-through penalties, which they're taking right now. Four and a half minutes left. Hello. Through the switchback section there where Marcus Armstrong got fully sideways both directions. About Alex to Pelot to the top, 101.8. About to see what those fresher greens can do for Pelot. Meanwhile, Dixon trying to make these harder black tires work. You believe the tracker? I don't think it's going to be a successful plan, but let's see. It takes a while to get new blacks up to temperature, up to grip. Pelot is sitting pretty at the top. Now Grosjean goes to P2. Good lap. 30 seconds left on the clock. Lachlan up to P2, but still a big, big gap to, the timeline. to Alex Pelot. He's going to dance it through this right left. This is where it gets super gnarly, but you can pay off if you nail it. Has McLaughlin got enough to dislodge Alex Pelot to the line? The time is up. McLaughlin, has he done it? He has not. Nice try there. Nice try. Almost, almost. P2. Uh, P2. We're on the front row. McLaughlin saying, ah, so close. And the man who won the pole position for the Indianapolis 500 is on pole here in Detroit. The Ridgeline Lubricants Honda of Alex Pelot. The Chip Ganassi squad celebrate. That is a fine effort. Hi folks, Lee Diffie from NBC Sports here. If you truly enjoyed what you just watched, you can get more news, interviews and highlights by subscribing to the Motorsports on NBC YouTube page. You can get it all, so go for it.